We're excited for this opportunity, and we're excited to go down and compete against an SEC team just to show what the ACC is really about. But the you played last in Charlotte before, yeah. and is it special for you to run out there in your hometown and, and do your thing in front of your, your friends? Uh, it's, it's special to run out, but it's special to be with my guys on Thursday night. You know, like I say, I preach and preach. It's about my guys this year. You know, it's not about Marquise trying to be the hero uh, of anything anymore. And it's, I'm just more focused about coming out with a win to help our our guys start the season off right, and you know I'm excited, you know, to be in Charlotte. It's a huge and a Bank of America stadium, you know, where Cam Newton play. I get excited when I think about Cam playing there, and and I'll get the trade trade marks and playing there on Thursday night. So I'm just excited for that. Given the way last season ended, has this off season been just extremely long? And you know, uh, how excited are you, and how you know anxious are you guys to get started and get a new start? Put that behind you. You know, we had to put that behind us. I mean, when we played against Rutgers. Um, I had to start off with a new tab, you know. You know, before season start, we, we wrote our problems on the board, and that's what it is. We we got rid of our um, our problems, and we started to focus on this year. And you know, you can tell everybody's excited about this year. Um, the positive energy we bring on the field, how everybody's excited just to get on the field and compete against one another. And we didn't have that in the years, and we're excited just to have fun and come out here and be brothers. And this, this is a very different team, and I love where we're at. And the coaching staff is very positive. You know, they we feed off them, they feed off us, and it's just been a great, great training camp and a great um, all season for us this year. Marquise, when you look at uh, South Carolina on film, uh, what is it about that team that uh, that sticks in your mind? I mean, it's just it's not, it's not what you, um, the team is about. It's South Carolina, regardless. You know, there's talent everywhere. Again, with the Gamecocks and their defense is. You know, some big guys that can run real well, and we're excited just to um, get this opportunity to play against those guys. And, you know, Steve Spurrier is gonna, always going to have those guys ready. You know, you can, you can always try to say anything bad about the old ball, ball coach, but, you know, that's one guy who knows how to win football games. And, you know, I'm excited just to be able to play my first game against Steve, Steve Spurrier in the South Carolina Gamecocks, and so is the rest of this team. You know, like I said, it's a great opportunity for us to go out and showcase our talent, and, you know, it's a showdown, sh showdown with the ACC versus the SEC. Yeah, how was uh, excited about that? I mean, you know, going against – you're not going against the sisters of the right. poor here. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's a big game, you know, and it, and South Carolina is, is not a team you need to come out and just play some little random football. You got to come out, execute on, execute on both sides of the football, even on special teams. And, you know, those guys have traditions of winning the SEC championships and big-time games with Steve Spurrier, and I'm excited, you know, and we're going to keep talking about how excited we is for this opportunity, but we just got to come out and show it on Thursday. You know, it's, it's just about going out and executing and playing smart, fast, and physical. Coach Chizik and his staff have, you know, really, really brought us back up and, and you yeah, know, um, instilled that confidence in us to, to be successful. What was that like for you entering that first game as a starter, linebacker, you know, going at South Carolina, going back two years ago? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was. I was a little nervous at first, but you know, I had I had a bunch of older guys around me supporting me, and again, that's kind of my job now. Um, so I'm the older guy, and I got to help the younger guys around me. You know, it's just just football. Um, you know, so that's that's going to be my job. It's kind of funny how my role is reversed in two years. So some experience on that South Carolina offense. How do you feel like that kind of helps you guys as you kind of working to build this defense, you know, from scratch? Yeah, uh, so th this will be the quarterback's first start, in a big time game. Um, we're, you know, we're looking to get after him. Um, anytime you got a young quarterback, you want to make him throw into tight windows and make plays, um, make him beat you. So um, we're gonna we're gonna get after him with blitz schemes and things like that. But you know, it really boils down to how we execute, not so much what they do, but what we do. Have you looked at any? Film from like when Gene was at Auburn or Texas as a defensive coordinator. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've looked as far back as 05 when he was at Texas when right. he won the national championship. Yeah. Very similar in terms of what he's wanting you guys to do. Definitely. Uh, he even said some of the calls are the exact same. You know, he showed us clips all throughout training camp of um, Texas versus Ohio State 2005, Texas versus USC. You know. So we're, we're running very similar stuff to what they did. Does that help confidence knowing that, hey, this guy won a national championship running this exact same scheme? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, his pedigree stands for itself. Um, and then the defense, he obviously shows his clips. But, you know, he can he can give us all the scheme he, we want, he wants and the best scheme in the world. But it comes down to players making plays. You know, coaches aren't out there doing anything. It's the, it's the guys on the field that have to execute and make the plays. So he can get us in the position to make plays, but it's us that have to execute. Looking back at that 2013 game in South Carolina, defense played pretty well outside mm -hmm. of, I think, four plays. Mm -hmm. uh, can you take anything from that? Was Not that kind of an irritating loss because of that? Yeah, it's definitely irritating. Um, it was, you know, it was a weird game with the rain delay and, and things of that nature. But, 
you know, we haven't even, we didn't even watch film of that, you know, with totally new um, defensive scheme, so we did not pay attention to any of that. Um, you know, just the one thing that resonates from that is the loss, you know, going down to Columbia and losing the first game of the year. High profile game, you know, we get a chance to redeem ourselves redeem ourselves this year. When you look at the film of their offense, what kind of sticks out as something that you guys really gotta, you know, take care of? You know, first they have a great running back, Childs, you know, he's the guy that's been there is I think redshirt senior year, so he's he's uh, played behind Mike Davis a lot, you know, in the years past, but he's a big physical back. Um, Farrow Cooper, number 11, one of the most dynamic athletes in the country. So we got to do a good job containing those two guys.